5th of June is World Environment Day. So, let's learn some advanced adjectives to describe the environment. Hello, my name is Maddie from POC English and in this lesson we're going to learn 12 advanced adjectives that you can use to describe the environment. Last weekend, two of my friends, Ethan and Olivia, went camping. Now, we're going to ask them to describe their campsite. Are you ready? Let's start with Ethan. Hey Ethan, how was your weekend? Last weekend, I visited a campsite located in a beautiful natural setting. It was a pristine place, untouched and pure. The surroundings were peaceful and calm, offering a tranquil scape. Majestic mountains surrounded the campsite. A serene lake nearby added to the tranquility, reflecting the peaceful atmosphere. The vibrant colors of wildflowers and butterflies made the scene picturesque and captivating. It was a lovely experience. Interesting, right? This is what Ethan said. Now, let's find some advanced adjectives. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, look at these adjectives. Pristine, tranquil, majestic, serene, vibrant, and picturesque. But what do they mean? Let's start with number one, pristine, pristine. Now, in American accent, the stress is on the second syllable. You say pristine. But in British accent, the stress is on the first syllable, pristine. But which accent should you focus on, American or British? I have a video on that. You can click on the link above my head and watch that video after this one. Let's get back to the lesson. Pristine means pure and untouched. For example, the pristine beaches of the island are a heaven for nature lovers. The pristine beaches, the untouched and pure beaches. That's the first adjective, pristine. The second one is tranquil. Tranquil means peaceful and quiet. Tranquil, tranquil. For example, the garden provides a tranquil retreat from the busy city life. A tranquil retreat. It means you're tired of the busy city life, you go to the garden and you enjoy the peacefulness, the calmness, the quietness. Tranquil. Adjective three is majestic. Pay attention to the pronunciation. Majestic. The stress is on the second syllable. Majestic. But what does it mean? Majestic means grand and impressive and awe-inspiring. You would say, whoa, if something is majestic. For example, we enjoyed watching the majestic waterfalls. We enjoyed watching the majestic, whoa, waterfalls. Next is serene. Serene. Again, stress is on the second syllable, serene. But what does it mean? Serene means calm peaceful and undisturbed, serene. For example, the serene lake reflected the beauty of the surrounding mountains. The serene lake reflected the beauty of the surrounding mountains. You could see the reflection of the mountains in the lake. Adjective number five, vibrant. Vibrant. Vibrant means lively, energetic, full of energy. I really enjoyed the vibrant colors of the flowers. I really enjoyed the vibrant colors of the flowers. It means the colors of the flowers were very energetic. They were lively. They were vibrant. Next adjective is picturesque. Picturesque. Again, pay attention. Stress is on the last syllable. Picturesque. Picturesque. But what does it mean? Picturesque means visually charming. When you look at it, you enjoy watching it. It's pleasant. It's visually charming. That is picturesque. For example, last weekend, we went to a picturesque village. We went to a picturesque village. It means the village was very visually appealing. All right. So far, we have learned six advanced adjectives. Now, it is time to talk to Olivia. But before that, let me tell you something. Do you want to have the summary of this lesson and all other lessons I have on YouTube in the form of PDF in a 400-page book? Then you can download my ultimate English book. 
And the good news is, this book is for free for my YouTube subscribers. But how can you download it? Simply click on the link above my head, go to my website, type in your name, your email address, and click download. You will receive the link in your inbox. Oh, by the way, three days from now is going to be the World Environment Day, 5th of June. And to celebrate this day, I have decided to put a huge discount on all my courses, General English, IELTS, or both. The discounts will be for four days only, so keep an eye on my channel. Sales will begin on 5th of June. All right, let's get back to the lesson, guys. It is time to talk to Olivia. Hey, Olivia, how was your weekend? Well, I visited a lush and verdant location where nature was in full bloom. The surroundings were breathtaking, with expansive views stretching as far as the eye could see. It was a lovely environment requiring care and attention to preserve its fragile beauty. The area was incredibly diverse, showcasing a wide variety of plants and animals. Exploring this beautiful landscape was an unforgettable experience. Look at what Olivia said. It's cool, isn't it? Let's find six advanced adjectives. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, look at these adjectives. Lush, verdant, breathtaking, expansive, fragile, and diverse. But what do they mean and how can you use them? Let's have a look. Lush is an adjective which means green and covered with vegetation. That is lush. For example, the lush jungle is home to a diverse range of plant and animal species. The lush jungle, the green jungle, the jungle covered with vegetation, lush. The second adjective is verdant, verdant. But what does it mean? Verdant means green and fresh is a very interesting adjective to describe the environment. For example, the verdant meadows stretched as far as the eye could see. The verdant meadows stretched as long as the eye could see. Verdant. Adjective three is breathtaking. Breathtaking. If something is breathtaking, it takes your breath away. It's stunning. It's astonishing. It's awe-inspiring. It's breathtaking. You would see it and you would say, Whew, look at that. That's breathtaking. For example, the view from the mountaintop was breathtaking with valleys and peaks stretching out before us. The views were breathtaking. You would say, whoa, look at that. It was astonishing, awe-inspiring, breathtaking. Next one is expansive. Now pay close attention to this one because it's similar to expensive but it's not expensive, it's expansive, which means wide and big. For example, the expansive desert was covered with endless sand. Expansive desert, very wide and big desert. Next adjective is fragile, fragile, which means sensitive, something that is easily hurt or broken, fragile. For example, the fragile ecosystem of the coral reef requires careful conservation. The fragile ecosystem, the ecosystem which is easily hurt, and we have to be careful with it because it's fragile. And finally, the last adjective of today. So far, if you're enjoying this lesson, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, click subscribe. And the last adjective is diverse. Diverse. Diverse means varied. It means different. It means having a wide range of different types and forms of something that is diverse. Now, nature is diverse, isn't it? For example, the rainforest is known for its diverse array of plant and animal species. The rainforest has a diverse range of animal and plant species, diverse of many different types. And that's it, guys. We've learned 12 advanced adjectives that we can use to describe the environment. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to practice. See ya.